if what's in this box is actually true, then what we have here is the world's smallest aquarium. You see, apparently there's an aquarium, a stand, light, a sump filter. Uh, let me put that into perspective. Aquarium, light, stand, sump filter. Sumps are not small. But if all of this is true, then this certainly is the world's smallest and actually fully functioning aquarium. I don't mean somebody taking a thimble and tossing a tiny little mosquito fish in there and a little bit of gravel and have a tiny net and call that an aquarium with no filtration or anything of those uh, types. I don't mean somebody taking a little plastic tub and, and calling that an aquarium and just tossing some gravel and a fish in there. This looks to actually be the real deal. So of course, full disclosure, uh, my friend Oliver Knott sent this to me months ago and I simply forgot about it. The box states on it, uh, you've been nominated for the mini tank challenge. Yours, Oliver Knott, if you're not sure who he is, he's a uh, absolutely phenomenal aquascaper. Uh, I don't know why he's challenging me. Uh, Oliver, do you have any clue who I am? Have you ever seen my aquariums? Clearly, I am not an aquascaper. But I'm flattered that you challenged me. I'm not sure if we're gonna set this up. I'm gonna need your guys' feedback. Okay, so this is the light. Oh wow, it has overflow boxes. If you're not familiar with what those are, basically water's gonna be able to overflow to exit down to the sump. This is like a legitimate, actual aquarium. None of that uh, clickbait stuff. Oh, he's got a little cute little cleaner brush. <laughs> yeah, so this just sat in my house for at least a couple months. I forgot all about it. Um, you guys send me stuff all the time. And, uh, that's supposed to go like that. That's supposed to go like that. I think it goes like that. That makes sense. And then this would go on top of it, maybe? It's legitimate. <laughs> oh no, this is the light. What? It's literally an aquarium. <laughs> Look! <laughs> it's a fish tank. Oh my god. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. When I seen his videos and stuff, I was like, nah, not for me. Um, but this is too cute. I like it. I like it a lot. All right, what's this thing? I think I'll start from the bottom up. I think that's gonna make far more sense. Yeah, so this is like a baffle wall. Like this, I guess. There you go. So tons more room left in here for other media if you wanted to. We've got a uh, polyester filling, which you can replace. This is gonna be your mechanical filtration. Your biological, of course, will be this coarse sponge. But if you find that's not enough for the monster size fish you're gonna be adding in here, of course there's more area in there for some more biological media. <laughs> oh, the lid. That goes on top. We're gonna to fill this up and uh, get it running here in a second, see how it all works. But uh, I think it's pretty hilarious. This is actually a legitimately tiny tank. I wonder if I could build one, but smaller. I don't know, this is definitely this is really cool. You just you take it from here into your water tank without peeing them off. <laughs> that should go through that overflow in the back there. I'm overflowing. Oh, there, that's how the light goes on. I had it wrong the whole time. It goes like this. <laughs> what do you guys think? Oh my god, so we got the light. The aquarium, fully functional sump for mechanical biological filtration, acting as the stand as well. Return pump. Water's gonna get pumped up through the return uh, into the aquarium. All that water's gonna overflow through this overflow over here, down through the mechanical filtration, getting uh, polished, then going through that biological sponge, and then the cycle continues to repeat. Let's plug this in. Oh, check it out. I can literally pick up the full aquarium. It's leaking a little bit because I overfilled it, but you get the idea. The light isn't that bad. I, I wonder if it'll grow some plants. I bet you it would. I seen Oliver set this up and uh, he was able to. Okay, let's try the pump now. Here's so the water is pumping up through here. It's gonna exit there, go through the aquarium and overflow on the other side. Down to the sump, completes the cycle. It's literally a functioning, a really 
an actually functioning <laughs> tiny aquarium. None of that BS. Man, this is pretty awesome. Let's see how easy a water change could be. Pop it off. <laughs> the air want to think I'm gonna feed them. <laughs> there you have it. The world's smallest aquarium, like the real version. Like an actually functioning <laughs> fish tank with everything you need to support life. Uh, maybe you could put a couple shrimp in here, maybe a little tiny snails, maybe some rice fish of some sort, but obviously this is just a tank for fun. It's like a novelty item, but it works. That's pretty cool. One last thing on the topic of things that have been sent to me. I wanted to open this. I got pretty excited about it. I got it yesterday. Uh, I know a lot of you guys have been sending me things to the P.O. box. I haven't actually got to all of it yet, but I'm getting to this one. I'm jumping to this one uh, simply because I watched it get made on YouTube here. The person that made it doesn't know that I know this and seen it, but when I, when I was watching her make it, I was like, there's no way she's sending me that. It took her hours upon hours upon hours to create this. And uh, if you wanna watch that video, it's only like a 10, 15 minute video. She's only got a few views on it, like less than 10. Go give her a thumbs up, maybe subscribe, check her out. Very talented individual, wait till you see what she made. I'll leave a uh, link in the description to that video. But this girl's name is Heather. Oh, she drew that. Yeah, that's taking so much time into this stuff. Oh, wow. Yeah, another custom card. It says, Dear Joey, I've enjoyed watching your videos over the past year. You've taught me a lot about many things. I feel what I gained most from, you videos, from your videos is inspiration. Your passion for your hobby is contagious, and for that I made you this painting to show my appreciation. I made a YouTube video showing how I made it. Uh, your painting, so check it out if you have the time. Uh, YouTube is Hey Acrylics, it's from Heather. Heather, I saw the video. And I was very impressed, and I was shocked to hear you say you were sending this to me. So as soon as I seen it uh, come in, I was like, I gotta open this right now. Check it out in person. And see what it's going to be like. I, I gotta keep that envelope and stuff. That was pretty awesome. Oh my. This is gorgeous. Heather, you are talented. Check this out. It's Buddy. The Asian Arowana. Isn't that absolutely stunning? The logo. I watched how she made this. It was fascinating, using a bunch of different stencils. It took her hours upon hours to create this. I can't imagine how much passion and, and talent and, and just your time went into this just to give it to me. I appreciate it, Heather. I've got a lot of fan art here now. Trust me, I will be doing something with this stuff. This is one of my favorites. What do you guys think? Is she talented or what? When I see things like this, it makes me realize, like, I literally have no talents. I have no attributes. I, I don't possess a fraction of the talent this is, uh, that this took to make this. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you want to see me scape that tank, maybe we do it in a bunch of different ways, let me know in the comment section below or give this video a thumbs up. I'd also appreciate it if you gave me some suggestions on what we should put in it if we do anything with it. I don't want to give the wrong impression that a tank this tiny is good for all Aquarius, but I think it's a fun novelty item and let's keep it that way. I don't want to see comments for Arapaima in there. <laughs> Man, I'm get nothing but that. Oh, wait, wait, before you guys go, I just wanted to give a special shout out to all of those that joined my team is what I'm kind of calling it, sort of. I don't have a real name for it. It's that new membership program that YouTube rolled out with. Essentially, for a few dollars a month, you can support your favorite creator here on YouTube, plus get some exclusive perks. For those that do not join, I know that some people are upset that they can't afford it or don't want to pay, etc. 
don't worry about it. There's nothing to complain about because the regular content on this channel, nothing's changing at all. It's, that's gonna be going on on the side. You won't even know about it. But if you can join, I certainly appreciate it. I'd love to have you. Uh, but if not, no worries. We're still gonna keep everything the same. See you guys tomorrow.